Hey guys, Jeremy Dinsmore here, uh, aka Just Mutant Jed, and uh, I'm here just uh, puttering about on my Fort Kickass build. Uh, you may notice that I've got a slightly different skin. I figured it was time to kind of uh, change up the look a little bit. You know, I've still got the uh, ponytail in the back, but uh, this is more reflective of how I actually go about my daily life, so uh, here I am. Ta da! Uh, anywho. The, uh, not much has changed. I've been, uh, puttering about and, uh, oh, sorry, I'm getting a little bit of extra microphone pop there. Um, <clears throat> I've been puttering about slaying a few monsters and that, trying to gear up. I'm actually, uh, making a concerted effort, uh, right now to actually, uh, get, uh, the standard end game solutions done. So I've actually started using my, uh, brewing setup and underneath the uh, fortress itself and I've also uh, been mining a little bit more aggressively for diamonds because uh, as many people have told me who have actually uh, fought the uh, ender dragon it's uh, really really difficult to uh, face off against that uh, that degree of challenge without uh, without some significant protection, and I've also been uh, watching a bunch of videos on how to get uh, the most out of your enchantments and that sort of thing. Uh, special thanks go out to uh, a channel called Ant Venom. I'll uh, link him in the uh, description below uh, for, uh, for that. So uh, also the uh, texture pack I'm using uh, in a fit of wishful thinking because this is uh, Alaska and it is currently uh, late January. It's cold and it's miserable out, so uh, I decided to go for um, the uh, Dire Wolf Seasons pack, and uh, or not Dire Wolf, I'm sorry, uh, Wolf Hound Seasons pack, and uh, this is the uh, Summer Season pack uh, in particular. So everything looks like it's overgrown with moss, and uh, the the planking looks like it's overgrown and here's the torch texture here there are a few other differences you know mostly just flowers and things in full bloom uh, hither and yon uh, even my axe here looks uh, overgrown uh, and there's some outstanding artwork in this pack. This is just a random painting that I plopped down in uh, in the Wolfhound Asian pack. I forgot what it was, but it also was really cool. So anyways, I uh, did a little bit of uh, working. I'm not uh, entirely done here, but I want this to look kind of like a kitchen when I'm done. Um, suggestions are welcome on that. And, of course, also, I may or may not have shown this off earlier. Uh, this is uh, my sitting area around the uh, the fire pit. I tested it out for a couple of days running just to make sure, and uh, nothing catches on fire still. So uh, my uh, cautious optimism is paying off. So uh, I made mention last time uh, in one of my uh, previous videos that uh, the brewing stand now takes blaze powder. Now I have uh, brewed the hell out of things and it's still going. I mean seriously it's uh, one blaze powder runs for quite a few uh, potions worth and I've got some extra glass for some extra bottles all that sort of thing. I've made some uh, water breathing and I think Leaping, that was it. Uh, these rabbit's feet right here are really good for um, uh, potions of leaping. And of course I've redstoned it up so I can spend a great deal of time underwater if I so desire. However, I'm nowhere near a deep ocean biome so uh, I don't really have any, uh, any purpose to go deep diving anytime soon. And I'm not going to go out looking for it either because uh, those... Uh, those uh, ocean monument guardians, though, man, those are uh, those are a sick challenge. I mean, seriously, just uh, yeah. My first experience with it was uh, well, I've very actively pursued it being my last experience with it for a while until I can figure out what exactly is up and how I can uh, avoid getting the boat blown out from under me before I'm ready because those ocean guardians are really aggressive 
So yeah, there's that. Um, not much else going on. Uh, just uh, as I said before, and, uh, puttering and uh, and uh, making sure I'm uh, ready for the uh, Ender Dragon. Now I've done a little bit of extra mining, like I mentioned, and so far I've only got a stockpile of 17 diamonds. And that's of course uh, accounting for after uh, after having built an enchanted table and a diamond pickaxe, which I was fortunate enough to uh, get these enchants on it, just whole cloth. Uh, I left it up to R N Jesus, and uh, well, it uh, paid off. So, anywho, yeah, that's uh, that's what I've got so far, and uh, it'll probably be. Uh, a while again before I uh, get up to anything else. So uh, thanks so much for watching and y'all have a great day. Thanks.